Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Empower For You. And if nobody has told you today, this week, or this year, or in a mighty long time, who knows, let me be the first to tell you, you are not a failure. Are you shocked? Are you shocked? You are you shocked to know that you're not a failure? I'm not. Because you're not. You're not a failure. Say it with me. I am not a failure. See, now you're playing with me. You just said it because I told you to say it. Now say it like you mean it. I am not a failure. How did that make you feel? Did that make you feel better? To know in here that you're not a failure. Many of us throughout our lives have made mistakes. I've made mistakes. Come on, y'all. Everybody has made mistakes. Even the scripture says that all have fallen short of the glory of God. That means that we're not going to do everything right all the time. We're not going to have it all together all the time. As a human being, we all have faults. We have shortcomings. We have flaws. Personality quirks. And of course, we're not going to get along with everybody. Everybody's not going to get along with us. We're going to like certain people and then we're not going to like others. People not going to like us either. I got a lot of people don't like me. Do it look like I care? Okay, as long as you know. And sometimes you just have to you just have to get to that place in your mind that I don't have a problem. And I don't have to dwell in that place with you. That's what I'm saying about failure. Many times failure is a state of mind. What state of mind are you in? Are you in that mindset that I'm a failure. You know, that that place right there, that's a dark place to be in when you see yourself as a failure. Seeing yourself like that brings on depression. It, it, it brings on those dark tendencies of suicide and, you know, substance abuse and, you know, uh, physical abuse and, you know, Excuse me. It just makes you anxious and, and, and sometimes you, we lash out when we're in those places of failure. You know, we're hurt and we, you know, we just feel a certain way. Everything hurts when we're in that place of failure. You know, sometimes you can't even be comforted in that place. Everything seems wrong in that place of failure. Now, I myself have been feeling some type of way over the last hmm, month. <sighs> because I started a new job and I have a corporate nurse lady that's there in the building, um, you know, for different reasons that I won't go into. And I guess, you know, me being new that she was supposed to have trained me in what I was supposed to be doing and, you know, um, how to do things, you know, the way of um, the facility and the company that I work for. And for some reason, I never received that formal training and I guess 
she thought that, you know, I was supposed to just come to her and ask her questions about things that I never, never was trained on, never did actually know. And the next thing I know, I'm being critiqued on paper. She's sending emails to me, to the administrator, the director of nursing, the, the director down at corporate about things that different concerns and different things that I'm not doing. And she's in the same building with me. We see each other every day. And I was like, hmm, that's concerning. And I was like, oh, okay. And so I went and, you know, asked about, well, what is it that, you know, I'm supposed to be doing? And I guess I was told. The next thing I know, there's a second email saying the same things, trying to, you know, make me look like I'm not doing my job, making me look like I'm incompetent. At least this is the way I took it. As a person, I take things personally. I hate that phrase. Don't take it personal. I'm not a dog, I'm not a cat, a frog or a donkey. So how am I supposed to take it? I'm a person. And did you not know that 99% of communication is perception? It's not how you meant it. It's how the person perceives what you have said, done, or written. It's perception. So this is how I perceive this. I perceive this as this lady got a problem with me. And so after the second email, I was really feeling some type of way. I was really hurt by, you know, what had transpired. And um, I remember I was sitting at my desk and I, I felt some type of way. And, you know, I said, I said, I, I, I'm, I'm going to go home. And I got in the car and I called a best friend of mine and I told them what was going on. And they were like, oh, so who job you got? I, what? You got somebody's job. What? What are you? What are you saying? No, they asked me to come <laughs> come there. And they said, no, you got somebody's job that that lady wants them to have. Or she just don't want you. I said, oh, ooh. I didn't even think about it like that. And they was like, yeah, you might ought to want to. And then they told me, they says, well, did you respond to the email? Did you tell your side of the story since she wants to expose you to all of these people? I said, no. And they said, why not? You have a side too and you have the right to respond. Respond to the email. And do it in the way that I know that you are able. So I did. And come to find out <laughs> it backed her up off me it made her leave me alone did I still receive my formal training no is she still writing these emails yeah but I had to come to the place of, you know, you have a problem. I don't. And that's that's where you have to go. When when somebody is is literally trying to set you up for failure, you have to make it up in your mind. So which one are you going to do? Are you going to be the best that you know you can be? Or are you going to cower down? to their twisted, perverted agenda and be the failure that they have planned for you to be. Whose plan are you going to follow? 
You know, many times we get into these um, places and have to deal with certain people in order to know what not to do when it's us that's in charge. A lot of us, just because you're young, middle-aged, or matured, that doesn't mean that you're actually in your season to put forth the effort that you have put forth and to actually implement those lessons that you have learned. Everything is on a time schedule. You know, I have people tell me all the time, oh, I'm too old, oh, I'm too young, oh, I'm too tired, oh, I'm too this, I'm too that. Really? Well, guess what? You can't die until it's done. And many times, you know, I've been in some places where I was just like, I, I'm, I'm not going to make it. I'm, I, I'm tired. I, I can't. I don't have any more fight in me. And the next thing I know, I was up and moving again. You're not a failure. You've made mistakes. You've had your setbacks. People have done things. People have said things. You've done things. You've said things. That does not qualify you to be a failure. So you lost a house. So you lost a car. So you lost a few jobs. So your bank account is screwed up. You're not in the place where you want to be right now or you thought that you were going to be right now in your life. The world tells you, well, suck it up, buttercup. But what I'm telling you is to flip that thing around. Flip it around to your advantage. See that failure as a lesson learned. Don't see it as a failure. Take that and flip it around and see okay this is what I did wrong take that failure and pick it apart and analyze that failure to see exactly what you did wrong or flip it around and see exactly what it was that you did right see we feed in too much too much into the negative of things don't see things so negative. A lot of times we have to turn things around, flip it around, and see that, oh, well that wasn't my fault. Oh, my bad, that was my fault. Come on y'all, you have common sense. See things for the way they are. When you know that you have given your best, you have done your best, there's no failure in doing your best. There's no failure in giving 110% and getting nothing back. Everybody's not gonna appreciate you, darling. Everybody's not gonna tell you thank you. Good job. I appreciate you. You're a great asset to me. Yeah. A lot of us want to hear those words. A lot of us would give anything to just hear it, feel it. But sometimes we have to say those things to ourselves. Good job, Philam. You the bomb.com girl. You an asset to, girl, you an asset to these folks. These folks don't know what they got. They got me. I'm the best. I'm the best at what I do. Y'all don't know nothing about me. Can you imagine taking on that attitude in everything that you do? I'm the best. I'm the best in whatever it is I do. Now, don't, don't, don't get it messed up. Don't get it messed up. If you're not the best, 
and you half ass your junk. Don't tell my something you the best. Here. Don't do that. If you are genuinely the best at what you do, then <laughs> ain't nobody got ain't nobody got to tell me thank you. Good job. Mm -mm. You know, there there was a song that um people used to sing, uh I remember when I was younger, let the work I've done. Speak for me. So let your work speak for you. Don't let nobody put your reputation, your professionalism, your education, your status. Don't let anybody put that on, on a chopping block for you. Is that what you went through all that hell for? For somebody, for one person to come in and tear that up? You're not a failure. You are not a failure. Please hear me. This message fell on me real hard this evening about you are not a failure. And I just had to share it with you all. Because there are some people out there actually believing that, you know, I didn't do enough. Or maybe if I had done enough, this person would have loved me. This person wouldn't have left me. I would have still had this job. I would have still had that job. I would have still been in this relationship. I would have still been in that relationship. My mother would have loved me more. My father would have loved me more. You, do you see what I'm saying? That doesn't make you a failure, sugar. That is not, that is not how that goes. When you have done your best. And you know that you have done your best. You're not a failure. You're just human. And many times we give out of our lack. We give to those who are non-deserving. Because that's just us. That's who we are. We give us. We're team players. We want to see the best for everyone. Including ourselves. Do we always get it? No. It seems like we're always on the short end. That we always get the dregs of whatever is left. That when there needs to be a scapegoat. You're convenient. When things are expendable. You're convenient. But guess what? You can take it. You can take it. You can act, you can take it and you can make it because of your strength, because of the call on your life, because of who you are. Never, ever let anyone make you believe that you are a failure because you're not. You're not a failure. You're just human. That's all. We all make mistakes. We all make bad choices. And there's no failure in that. And I just want to admonish you today that you're not a failure. Pick yourself up. Dust yourself off. And start moving again. Sure, I can tell you, biggest life, forget the past. But I don't have your past. There are things in my past that I have yet to overcome myself. And I'm still working on it. I work on, I work on me on a daily basis. I have to. Because if not, I might fall back into one of those old habits. You know what I mean? So just see this as a stepping stone. Take this as a lesson learned. Take this as something that I need not repeat this again. 
because what is that called doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result you know what that's called don't you that's called insanity are you insane are you you got mental illness in your family I think we all do really but what I'm saying is don't don't let anyone else determine who you are don't do that to yourself it's not their job it is not anyone's job to determine who you are it's not anyone's job to determine your value not at all so how is it that anyone can determine whether or not you're a failure or not pick yourself up dust yourself off get your thoughts together get yourself together no one's taking score of your mistakes nobody has a little tally sheet going yep you did this and yep you did this and yep. Oof, you mm, you you just terrible you did this and you did this. nobody's taking tally of this y'all it's not that deep don't make it that deep it is not I promise you it is not that deep it is all a part of of a mindset failure is a mindset failure is in your mind okay think success think prosperity see yourself coming out of that rut that you're in of that valley that you're in of that dark place that you're in see the light at the end of the tunnel see it and move towards it don't dwell in that place don't dwell in that place of well I'm a failure nobody loves me nobody wants me don't dwell in that place because you know what dwelling in that place you might miss something down the road good that's coming for you and I don't want you to miss it Cause I don't want to miss mine and I definitely don't want you to miss yours so again you're not a failure and it's my job today to tell you again what did you say it do you believe it Do you really believe it because if you don't believe it I can't believe it for you everything begins with you and if you don't believe it there's nothing else I can do but just believe with you and believe that one day you'll get it and again it's my job today to encourage your heart and strengthen your spirit. You are not a failure. Peace.